Hey guys, it's Stephanie here from Oh Your Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. This is an exciting tutorial, mostly because it has been months and months and months in the making. for coming back for another tutorial. Today's tutorial, now you might be finding this from searching and you might be finding this because you subscribe to our channel, thank you so much. Or you might be finding this video because we sent you a link because you found out about a particular kit that we have brought out into the world. And that is the bridal DIY kits. So make your own bridal bouquets, bridesmaids bouquets, and boutonnieres. So stinking excited. This video is all about the bridal bouquet. I'm gonna show you how we make this one from start to finish. We'll also talk a little bit about how to dye the flowers, and then I'll also show you some other like add-ons you can add to the, one of these kits so that you can make the bouquet, like legit, the bouquet of your dreams. We can, we can help you with that. So let's jump in, we'll show you what you get all in the kit, and then we'll make this lovely bouquet. Here is what comes in the kit. You have your seated eucalyptus, corn broom for the handle, 40 floral stems or wires, some twine, five sprigs of baby's breath, and then 40 solo wood flowers. The first thing I wanna show you guys is how to dye the flowers, just how easy it is. Now the bouquet we're gonna be making is gonna be using all of the cream flowers, just cause I feel like that's a classic to use those beautiful cream roses, but this is so customizable. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to dye the flowers. It's super easy and I just want to show you just with a few quick steps, you can dye the flowers to be whatever color that you want that matches your color story. To dye the flowers, what you're going to need is some room temp water. Optional is a little bit of vegetable glycerin and then your favorite craft or latex paint. This color we're gonna to use today is Crimson Red by Anita's. And it's like, I don't know how the camera's picking it up, but it's magenta like to me. It's pretty. So we're gonna put that in there. I'm gonna empty out the bottle basically. I'm gonna slowly add in my water. It's usually about a one-to-one -one ratio of water to paint. And to keep the flowers soft, you can add just a little bit of glycerin. You do not need a lot. A little bit goes a long way. And I do just about one, one part glycerin to eight parts water. I'm gonna start mixing this up, but we'll, have, we'll add more water to this in just a second. One other thing you'll want is something to dry all your flowers on. I like to use egg cartons, but it's completely a personal preference. All right, moment of truth. So we're just gonna put our flower in there, bring it around, and scoop up some of the paint for some of those flowers that are a little bit deeper. And you can shape it while it's wet. When the wood is wet, it starts to become much more flexible and manual, manualable? No, that's not the word. You, you know what I'm saying. But it does that. So I am noticing I do have some thicker paint spots, so I can add a little bit more water. So I'm gonna do that. But on those spots where it's kind of thick right now, I'm just gonna smooth it out with my finger. It's okay to get a little messy. There's one down. Let's do the others real quick. We'll add a little bit more water to this. And then we'll mix up a little bit more. Now throughout your dyeing, you do want to just mix up your water and paint every once in a while because the paint can start to settle so that you don't have any clumping or th uh, like spots and splotches and things like that. Okay. And we'll grab, this is an American Beauty. We'll roll it in there. 
I'm tilting this so that I can get my paint and in the flower quite a bit. And then I'm going to open up the petals again. Now, if you have some spots where you can kind of see that there still needs to be some um, saturation, you can also get like a spoon and scoop in some paint under there. But then what I do is I shake off all the excess and set it to dry. These do take about 24 hours to dry, um, to air dry, and then you're good to go to start making your arrangement. Now this particular flower is only found in the bridal bouquet um, kit. A different shape rose now this does uncurl slightly but it still holds its shape pretty well and then when you open her up my gosh how pretty is that so I'm gonna shake off that excess let those dry and in the meantime let's make that other bouquet now, as we wait for our flowers to dry if you have dyed them what you can do in the meantime is start prepping your greenery for this particular bouquet the way that we're going to do it is I'm doing what I have kind of dubbed a bundle technique um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my seeded eucalyptus and all of these individual sprigs on this stem, however, whatever you wanna call it, we're gonna clip these all off individually. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do after we clip those. But we want all of those separate for this particular technique. Once that's done, you also have for the bridal bouquet the baby's breath, these are gonna come individually already separated, so there's nothing extra you need to do with those except for set those aside. Now the other thing to do is to start moving up your greenery. We don't need a lot of, we need some space at the bottom. So we're gonna bring this all on up pretty close to each other. So now that you have your stems looking like that. So leave the top as is, but get into the middle and the bottom pieces and bring those guys on up a little. And if one breaks or something, it's okay, it's fine. Don't even sweat it. Just keep moving forward. I promise nobody will know but you. And if you're like me, you'll even forget about that after a little while. Oops. <laughs> the flowers it's super simple you're going to need the wire stems that we include in the kit a little bit of hot glue you take your flower at the end and just kind of wiggle it in with a little bit of glue on there let's do that one more time now what I sometimes like to do is I put up like a hole already in there once without the glue because I'm klutzy as we saw earlier and I drop things and I don't want to glue my fingers because it'll hurt. So I'll put my wire in first and make a little hole. And then, here's my glue gun. Take, now I put my wire right into the glue gun nozzle. Don't do that. But I've done it so much for the last three years that it's now habit. Get some glue on there. There you go. Super simple. So stem up all of your flowers and then we'll get, we'll, we'll get to assembling nothing but professionals here. All right, so now it's time to get to making the bundles and we wanted to make this as super simple as possible, give you complete guidance and then if you wanna do whatever you wanna do, that is awesome and wonderful and we absolutely encourage it. But for those of you that want a little more hand holding, a little bit of like, I need to know exactly how much for each thing I need to do, I got you. Oh boy, do I ever. So there's a recipe to this and it'll make more sense as we go along. But basically, it's gonna be broken down into three different size types of bundles, and then we'll have a couple loose flowers at the end. So the bundle I'm gonna show you right now is we're gonna use one piece of the eucalyptus, one piece of the baby's breath, and five flowers. We're gonna make five of those. So it's really easy. Now this is the one other supply that you're going to need in order to make the bouquet is this way, and that is either vinyl tape or in a pinch, electrical tape also works. To find the vinyl tape, 
um, I believe your favorite craft supply, craft supply store in their floral section should have it. Otherwise, good old Amazon will have that. We'll make sure to have a link to the one that we use um, in the description. But again, electrical tape works as well. So I've taken my eucalyptus, I've got my baby's breath, and I'm just putting my flowers you know, all around for this particular bundle. Then what I'm gonna do, now normally if you're, you should just have a whole bunch of this like kind of set aside, ready to pull and use, and we're gonna take the vinyl tape and we're gonna secure this. Now we are gonna secure it further down because if you put it up too high, it's gonna be harder to hide that at the end with your handle. So put it near the bottom, wrap that nice and tight. Now you're gonna make five of these. And the, the joy and the loveliness that is the bundle technique, you don't really need to, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can put the flowers pretty much wherever you want, the, the greenery wherever, the baby's breath wherever. It'll all work out in the end, I promise you. So besides these five bundles, you're gonna make two other types of bundles. You're gonna make one bundle that has one piece of eucalyptus and four flowers, and then you'll make one other bundle with two pieces of eucalyptus and seven, I forgot how to count with my fingers, seven flowers. So one of each of those, five of the one I showed you, and that'll leave you with four flowers left over that you will stick in different spots to make it all work. All right, I've made my bundles already, so I'm gonna show you what those all look like, and then we're gonna put it all together. All right, so let's see what this all looks like. Here is our five bundles. I was like, wait, is there five? Yes, there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Five bundles, that's one piece of eucalyptus, one piece of baby's breath, and five flowers. We're pretty much, basically this is what we're gonna do. However, we also have one bundle that is one piece of eucalyptus with four flowers, and then one that is two pieces of eucalyptus and seven flowers. So this is a big bundle and this is what we're gonna start with. And then we have four individual flowers. These are great to put in where we feel like there's a hole or it needs a little bit of extra dimension. So to start off, we're going to start with this, this nice large bundle where it's a lot of greenery and a lot of flowers. And now all we're going to do is look and kind of start putting them together, squishing them. Um, I like to put my baby's breath kind of smushed up against there to kind of put a ring of baby's breath around what we're doing. Okay, do we already see what's coming about? And at any point you can stop. If it's the size that you want, then you stop. There's no need to keep on building. You can use as many of the flowers. You can use them all like we're gonna do in this tutorial, or you can use just a few of the flowers. Completely up to you, okay? And we're down to our last bundle. Oh, this is the one without the, the filler. Oh, that's all right. That'll work perfectly right there. All right. So right here, I've got a low spot. So I'm gonna come in with one of my lovely other flowers and I'm gonna find a hole to be able to stick my wire through. Pop it in there, hug just a little bit at the bottom and hold that in place. Again, I have here where I have like a ton of greenery. I wanna break that up a little bit. So I'm gonna put a flower in the middle of that. Bring it on through. And break that up a little bit. And I feel like there's a low spot right here. Bring the flower in, pop it up there. And our final guy, let's see. Little guy wants to go right here. All right, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is take again our vinyl tape and we'll go in the center of the bouquet. If I can get my vinyl tape off, this is why it's better to have it all ready to go before you start working on your bouquet. Don't be like Stephanie in this matter. All right, bring that through, put that off. Bring that on through. Okay, so that's done. Now, 
You could trim this all off to make it even, which I'm gonna do that. And then we're gonna use the corn broom to finish off our bouquet handle. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. So now we're gonna grab our corn broom and you're probably not gonna use it all. Get another piece of vinyl tape. Look at me, I'm actually prepared this time. Get yourself a piece of vinyl tape and have that standing by. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take little clumps of this and this is completely your own preference. You can either put the unfinished edge upward or downward, it doesn't matter, whatever you want. I'm gonna put the unfinished upward and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that corn broom up into the stems so that it's gonna start fading into there and covering up the other stems. So just all those wires. So just a little bit and then you're gonna twist over and keep popping that in there. Twist again. You can make this as thick or as thin as you want to cover it up. Again, with the kit, you don't want to use the corn broom. You don't have to. This is just a great, um, easy way to finish off a bouquet handle. You completely just wrap it with ribbon or twine or whatever makes you happy. All right, so we're getting close. I can when I'm holding it, I can still see a little bit of wires kind of peeking through. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more and add to that. Again, here I see a little bit, so. There's a generous amount of corn broom, so feel free to kind of go through and then, oh wait, you can add more if you want. One more little, one more little batch. Okay, I feel good about that. So kind of right where my hand is, cause that's really where, that's where our twine's gonna go. So right around that area is where we're gonna put our vinyl tape. This is where hand coordination sometimes comes handy. So just lay that on down and get that nice and tight around there. Again, you can use electrical tape in a pinch. Um, or some other tape if you'd like. I just really like the floral vinyl tape. I can still adjust this a little bit though too. And I'm going to just a little bit. Okay. Now this is actually longer than where my wires are so I'm gonna trim down my corn broom as well. And I'm gonna stick that pesky little wire in there that keeps trying to come out to show everybody it's there. All right, so I'm gonna trim this down and then we're going to put some twine on it and then we're done. We're done, you guys. All right, now to get our twine on, we'll bring you on down. We've got our hot glue gun ready in the wings, ready to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start our twine a little bit higher than where we put our vinyl and that's where we're gonna finish as well. Now again, this is completely personal preference. And I don't know if there's enough, there's probably not enough twine to go all the way up and down a full handle, depending on how long you make your handles. Uh, typically, I like to make the handles about, um, I go from the top and put my hands twice and then leave a little extra, little extra down at the bottom. Um, but it is completely a personal preference. And then I get my handy dandy popsicle stick and when the glue is still hot, I'm trying to wrap it a couple times to catch as much of the hot glue as I can as we go through. Now I am going to try to make this as tight as possible so that there's no major huge gaps, but if there are little gaps, it's okay because we're gonna go down and then back up and we'll cover any of those holes that we're missing um, to begin with. So we're gonna add another dab of hot glue here in the middle. so that we don't have any loose string happening. At the bottom of where I wanna go, so now I'm gonna go back up and this is where we start to cover up all of the other holes that might be 
those little gaps that you can see. Now the other thing I am gonna do is I'm not thrilled that some of these wires are still trying to peek through. So I'll probably trim those so that they're not peeking through as much. So as we near the top, I do take the little tail that I have. Let's trim that off. You can also tuck that into the rest of the, the wrap um, so that it's finished. We're gonna put just a little glue. Oh, there's actually a little bit more than I wanted. So I'm gonna wrap this a couple times so that we can cover up the glue. Right there, I'm gonna take my glue, or my popsicle stick, and I'm gonna smooth that to smooth that glue down. And then where the little extra bit of the tail is left, we're gonna trim that as close as we can to where the glue was. And there's the finished handle. So again, one, two is where I'm putting that, and then I have, so three, hand lengths basically is the length of the um, handle itself. All right, you guys, there it is. A full bridal bouquet from start to finish using our bridal DIY kit. If you have any questions, like always, drop them in the comments, especially if you got this video tutorial because you purchased one of these kits. And if you have a question or any suggestions, we'd love to hear them, so drop them in there in the comments. Also, we'll make sure to include the recipe for the bundles in the description. Hold me to it. If for some reason you don't see it, make sure to say something in the comments so that I update that for you because I forget things. But I know the recipe is nice to have written down as well. If you're loving these videos, can't get enough, wanna know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell. To find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies, greenery, and DIY kits, go to oyourlovely.com. Until next time, this is Stephanie from Oh Your Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.